And that's what you and I got to get to that point, that, that our substance was determined before we were born. But we, sometimes we got to go through some things to get to that point where we can realize it. God knew it in the beginning because he formed it. He made us a wonderful, a magnificent being. And we take and we decide that we're going to invest in the way Satan wants things done. And we're going to corrupt, attempt to corrupt this magnificent, wonderful being that God has created, this sustenance that God has put us in us. And God says to you and I, look, I knew you before you were in your mother's womb. That's Jeremiah 1 and 5. I consecrated you. I anointed you. Look at those words and look at the essence of it. God is saying, before you were even conceived, I knew you. I knew you, I, I, know, I knew your heart. I knew your substance. When you take Psalms and you take Jeremiah together, he said, I knew your substance before you were born. I knew your essence. I knew what you were going to be. I was going to allow you to go through these things because I'm not going to take your free charge from you. I want you to be the child that I anointed you and I consecrated you to be. So I'm going to allow you to go, to, to go through these things. I'm going to allow you to be able to see that none of that stuff that you believe is best for you, is best for you. What's best for you is your relationship with me. And in your relationship with me, I'm going to make it possible for you to, to enjoy things that you never thought that you could enjoy. I'm going to make it possible for you to understand things that you never thought you could understand. I'm going to bring you to a place where you never thought you could be. So I don't want you to depend on man. I want you to depend on me. And sometimes I got to let you go through these things. Sometimes, sometimes I got to let you experience heartache. Sometimes I got to allow, allow you to experience setback. Sometimes I got to allow you to experience uncertainty so you can hear my call. Because I've made you wonderful. I made you magnificent. But I'm not going to take your choice from you. I'm not going to take your free will from you. I'm going to allow you to go through these things as you are molded and shaped, and then you, you come to realize that the choices that you were making, those choices were not good for you. The people you wanted to be around were not good for you. The environments you wanted to be in were not good for you. But I'm, I'm going to let you see it yourself. I'm going to let you stumble. I'm going to let you have that setback. I'm going to let you start to question your very essence, your very being. I'm going to allow you to start to question, why or am I here? What's my purpose? Because if I don't allow you to do it, you're never going to be able to see the rendezvous with destiny that I have for you. We want to thank you for being with us today. If this message has been a blessing to you and your family, we encourage you to make a donation to keep this broadcast on air. You can make your donations by going to BethesdaApostolicHouseOfPrayer.com on our secure website or Give the Fly app where you can make your donation to keep this broadcast on the air. Please remember, your tithes go to your local church but your offerings can go to where you're being fed. And as we continue on our journey, remember this. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 tells us that we walk by faith, not by sight.